hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i am showing some small tips in our rivet like how we can draw the cable tray easily so here is a plan uh, for one one floor plan is over here so i need to place some equipment first okay so uh, what i will do if you go to the system tab so you will be get all the things from here so i am going to the system tab first you will be get a draw panel for the all the things mechanical and electrical things so for example i need some electrical equipment so how i can place like uh, uh, electrical equipment so you just click on this one so you will be get a lot of panels lv panels and other things from here if you need to load that some panels you can load also so for example i am just choosing this one and i am placing one panel over here okay so i, I placed one panel here and i need to place one more panel over here so uh, from this one this panel to that one i need to connect some cable tray that is what i am trying to say so i place it two panel over here and uh, you can you can select the panel and uh, um, and you can change some clearance from here and you you, you don't want to show the clearance so just i will off that one so this is this two panel is lv lv uh, for example if you if you select this one okay so it is showing also lv panel one and you can change this one this two from here so this is lv panel one and another panel like uh, this is a for a simple exercise so so if you if you can do as per your calculation what you need so if these two are same then you need to change one panel uh, name is different so you just change to that one and you just duplicate it and i will say this one like uh, lv2 and click ok and just click ok so this two panel is uh, placed over here so if you look in the 3d so if you just want to click this one and go to the section box so you will be get how it's it's placed over here so you can see one panel is here and one panel is here so what i'm trying to do i need to connect two cable tray from from this panel to this panel so what we can we can do it i will go to the system tab again and i need to choose cable ladder to this one to this one or cable tray okay so how it's work i will show you just click on the cable tray and uh, you can you can get the property bar uh, from the property you can get all the uh, cable trays and cable ladder so i am using this cable ladder first and you can you can see here here you you will be available other other details which cable tray you need so you can choose the size of the cable tray from here and the cable tray height like uh, uh, the, the the height you can mention from here so i am choosing 100 and you can you will available lot of things also here so if you if you increase that one it will go okay so then then the cable tray run at which level so you can choose the level as per your building um, so i am choosing uh, this 3050 and i will start from here one cable tray okay so i need to connect this cable tray to this panel okay so for for example i am just uh, drop to here so need to add just little bit so just click and click on the cable tray and uh, in the in the keyboard you can up upgrade arrow is there so you just uh, select from that one you can adjust it the cable tray as per which where you need to want do you want to drop it that one so if you look the 3d view so you can see the cable tray is uh, coming from one one panel to another panel and uh, if you want you want we want to drop it the cable tray so what we can do we'll just go to the section and we just make a sections like this close to the cable tray and panel okay so we'll, we'll just right click on that one and go to view so here you can adjust in the section view you can adjust the cable tray rise and up and everything you can make it through the uh, make it through the section so we'll, we'll go for the go for this uh, fine here from here and we can change the uh, size also scale also from here like 25 so you can change the level and size uh, scale and you just click on that one and just uh, right click on the cable tray so you can uh, make a bent over from here okay so this is uh, this is dropping to this panel it's showing so it just uh, we can move a little bit uh, uh, from from in the center of the panel so if you if you click that one 
you can make it like this if you want to change the radius of the cable tray the bending radius so you can change from here so automatically this one uh, coming uh, as per the cable tray okay so if you if you look at the 3d so you can see it's dropping to the uh, panel see it's it's dropping to the panel okay so the same thing we can do in another side also this is the same method we are using for this uh, uh, all all cable tray uh, making time so you can rotate it this one like 90 degree under it and click, click this one up to here and just go to the view and you can uh, do the same thing also here from here also so press on here and draw cable tray and drop into the panel so it will it will work here also so if you want to change this one just click on that one and you will be get this dimensions from here and you can change the uh, radius of the fitting bending radius you can you can change in the property also you will be get that one so this is the one exercise so you you can you, you can see it's, it's 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 down to the panel so this is the same way we can do the cable tray or and uh, panels and everything uh, we can place the panels like this easily and uh, we can run the cable tray also easily so this is the one example and if you need another cable tray the same thing you can um, draw the cable tray from here and you can choose whichever uh, size you need we just uh, uh, started for, oh, sorry uh, we, we need to change this one like a cable tray so just click on channel cable tray and we need to change the size also size we can choose it like a 225 and um, this elevation i will keep it as a same level of that cable tray and i will choose this one like this and it will come up to the panel so we can adjust the panel uh, as per the uh, where where we ending the cable tray so we just move this one uh, through the panel okay so you can see here it's, it's a cable tray is is on the panel also so you can adjust little bit to the panel also as per the cable tray uh, dropping down and the same thing we can do it is if you if you look in the 3d so the cable tray also running through the through the parallel to the cable ladder so if you low if you if you go here and you can do the same things over from here so you just click on that one and that and the section you can move to the that cable tray and go to view and you can drop the cable tray from here you can draw the cable tray and drop to the cable tray here and you can adjust it a little bit uh, inside the uh, near to the near to the center of the panel so this is the way we are using uh, we are we are um, creating um, the cable tray dropping to the panel and um, and in the both side we need to do it that one so we'll go off here and uh, the same thing we can go it otherwise you can make another section so uh, no issue for that one and just uh, go to the rotate and uh, we will take another section also so easily you can make the cable tray uh, dropping down to the panel for, through the sections so that is the easy method to dropping down the uh, cable tray so here you can see the old uh, two cable tray so just uh, draw the cable tray and drop down to the another cable tray so if you go to the 3d view so you can see the two are uh, showing here so you can adjust from here also we can move the cable tray a little bit in the center of the panel so just to go to the top view and you just uh, move from the uh, from the uh, from the uh, keyboard uh, you can get the left hand side uh, right right side and up up and down the cable tray arrows so you can select from that and uh, you can see the cable trays are uh, dropping down down to the panel so another example like you, you can run the conduits also here so you can choose the conduit from here and you can choose the size of the um, conduits and you can add which cable which size of the cable you need you can add here and you can uh, run the uh, cable uh, cable also okay means the, uh, the conduits also so for example i am choosing this one okay and for example i've just run run like this the uh, this the uh, conduit okay and i just move to this one to the uh, center of the so you can move from here also you just move this one to the center of the 
center of the cable tray and you can see here it's 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 worked properly so if you want to select this one separately tab it press it and tab it and press uh, enter it so it, it the conduits will be uh, selected so so you can see here the conduit is properly run through the cable tray so where we can see the but maybe the, the this 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 height is totally different so what we can do just click on the uh, conduit so it was in uh, two three two seven five so we need this one up to uh, three zero one hundred or three zero three zero seven five okay so we will just that one and we'll go to the 3d view so you can see the conduits or cable it's running to the running to the running the cable tray so same thing we can do the in the section also we, we need to drop that uh, uh, conduits to the panel so we'll just draw a conduits and we just need to the drop the conduits to the panel so it will it will work there so if you can see that one so you can you can see that the conduit is dropping down to the panel okay so the same thing you can do the this side also so if you if you if you need uh, uh, to run the conduits from this one also so you the same thing uh, same way you can do it so fully you guys understood this video so if you like my video please subscribe my channel this is related, totally related to autocad and rivet so wait for the next video for more practice and uh, training so if you need any training please contact me on whatsapp i will mention in my description box thanks for watching thank you